So, you know, the, there's another email we had that I thought we could take here as well. It's sort of on a different topic than the question of service, but it's from Bob. And, and Bob writes, he wants to know when the TTC and GO will combine the fares. And, and I know this is a lot, I get this question quite a bit, uh, because it really is, uh, it's a question a lot of people who are traveling into the city who, I think we have about 150,000 people coming in from our surrounding areas, why we don't combine the fares. And I guess the big answer, or the big question here is, it's a money question. Uh, it's somewhere, I, last time I heard about a hundred million dollars uh, to, and maybe more, to combine uh, go uh, and uh, regional uh, transit fares into one fare zone. Uh, all right, now that number sounds higher than the one I'm used to, but it is a big dollar number. Yep. And yeah, I mean, we'd love to provide everybody in the GTHA which, with an integrated service and fare system. It is very much a money question, and all of the carriers, everybody we work with, Go, uh, York Region, Mississauga, we have a, co a common interest in providing excellent uh, so-called seamless service to everybody. We need to ensure we can afford to do okay. it, and if we, if both uh, properties charge one fare and then you only get uh, one. So it really is a question of money at the end of the day among, I mean there's some issues, yeah, the fare some... card's coming, and yeah. maybe we'll talk a little bit about the fare card yeah. in a minute. Uh, we're going to go to a break and come back, we'll uh, take more of your calls and uh, answer some more of the questions here on, on The Rocket. Breaking news. Welcome back to On the Rocket. We're live here on a moving streetcar, taking calls from uh, emails and Twitter comments from uh, from our riders across the GTA. Emily, welcome to On the Rocket and. Uh, I understand you might have a question here. I did. I actually wanted to know if there was any plan to increase accessibility for riders to purchase their tickets. For example, if I'm a, like a regular MetroPass user, yeah. you have to go online, yeah. print out the form, fill it in by hand, and fax it in circa 1992. Right. Like, is there any plan so I can do that all online? Well, Emily, you know, it's a good question. I'm glad you asked that because we were just finishing talking up about integrating TTC and Go fares. And one of the things we wanted to talk about is the new uh, automatic fare payments. And what we're working on right now, and there's 12 stations in the first phase, is an automatic fare payment. So that's a card. Uh, it's called Presto. Provin the provincial government has been working on it with us, where you'd use that card to pay your fare. So you might be able to load value from your bank account onto uh, onto the card. You'd also be able to use, and we're working to do what's called open payments. Use your credit card or your bank card to actually go up to the turnstile. Don't have to buy a separate card. You could have loaded it all, your pass if you bought a pass right onto your credit card, which has the new chip, and just tap the turnstile and you go right through and that's what you're seeing a lot in Europe especially for example in London Hong Kong's got it really it's pretty common around the world and that's what we're sort of hoping uh, to bring here to Toronto to avoid you having to mail your form in or stand in line to pay you know pay in cash uh, which is uh, pretty inconvenient especially if you wait till the last day of the month or the first day of the month which is when I always do to be well honest. and I think you and most of the other people so uh, Emily thanks very much for the question we want to remind you how you can reach us here at on the rockets. To reach us by phone, call 416-872-CP24. That's 416-872-2724. Or toll free at 1-888-863-CP24. You can send us an email to ontherocket at cp24.com or reach us on Twitter by going to our website at cp24.com. So we thought we'd now take a, a Twitter comment. We've got uh, we've got one Twitter comment coming in. It says um, there are LED uh, lights in some stations, um, and the, the Twitter comment once goes on to say 
doesn't the T when is it going to come to the other station and doesn't the TTC care about the environment? And you know, Mitch, this is something that the, the commission I know has been uh, pretty dedicated to over the last couple of years. We were talking a little bit about uh, streetcars earlier and how the, they run on electricity and how you know some of our electricity in Ontario is still power, is produced by coal power, but the TTC, like in the environment, is buying green power. And I know we're in our second year of doing that, so, so a lot of these streetcars are actually running on small-scale hydro or uh, wind power. Um, and we've got the LED program. Have you seen the LED uh, lights at St. Andrews Station? Yeah. yeah. So that's a, that's a pilot project because that's LED uh, lights are, of course, uh, an environmentally friendly way to light stations. Uh, they're not, at, you know, I was surprised to learn they're not at, they're not that much more environmentally friendly than the good quality fluorescent lights, um, but we are testing it, and I know some of our uh, streetcars now are putting in LEDs as the lights, and it's certainly something we're interested in doing more of. Yeah, all true and valid, but you know we mustn't lose sight of the fact that the biggest benefit the TTC brings to the environment is taking so many millions of rides every day out of private automobiles, you know, fossil fuel burning automobiles, and onto transit, which of course on a per person basis reduces the GHG emissions in Toronto by thousands of tons absolutely every every week so yeah we can improve our own performance but the more people that we get to to, to ride transit instead of private vehicles that's where we get so the I mean payback. the TTC is the green way of getting ara around just by the fact that it gets people out of cars but there are those programs like the LED and, and to the call or to the person who sent us in the Twitter comment I guess we are going to be uh, looking at putting out uh, more stations with LED we just testing it out LED still is still preliminary and uh, we've got more work to do. We have um, a caller and Sherry uh, is calling from uh, North York. Uh, Sherry, welcome to On the Rocket. You've got a question for us, I hope. Yes, I am a MetroPass user and I park at Wilson Station and depending on which lot you park in, you're paying between 15 and $20 extra a month to park there. And what is this money going to and can it lower the deficit? And I was told that it was to maintain the stations and I have sent you numerous emails about this, the garbage problem at the station. It's very dangerous, especially now with the leaves that are wet and there's garbage on the stairs and why isn't it maintained on a regular basis? I have to email either you or customer service once a month to have this cleaned. Well, you know, Sherry, it's, the question about parking was something, of course, was pretty controversial when we brought it in. We brought it in because we didn't feel that transit riders should be subsidizing uh, our parking lots. We spend around six to seven million dollars to keep the parking lots plowed, pave them, light them. We're putting in some security cameras. All of those things cost a lot of money. We didn't feel that the average transit rider should be subsidizing uh, the lots. So we started to charge for them. Uh, it brings a, us in additional revenue after paying for the lots because, like I said, that costs millions of dollars. Somewhere, I think, next year's budget has about $2 million surplus uh, going into the budget. So it does help out, and that's money that we're using uh, to provide better bus service. Um, we're going to take some more calls in a moment. We're going to take a look at some more emails. Uh, we're live here on the Rocket, moving on a, on a streetcar through downtown Toronto. Come back, or stay with us, and we'll be back in a few minutes.